Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and it's 3.11 p.m., and it's Saturday, September 3rd, 2022. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the last one of these Warhead sodas that I got at my local Quick Trip. Um, I got one of each flavor they had, and the total was $8.87 with tax, so I'm guessing per can it was like around $1.40 or so. Um, so yeah, I guess okay price, but I mean, anyway, this one sounds like it might be pretty good. We shall see. Today, I'm going to be reviewing the new Sour Blue Raspberry warhead soda so oh yeah boys look at that can oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah anyway as the silver top the silver tab the bomb's the best buy date in production code and best buy june 12th of 2024 so it's still fresh for a while has like a paint splatter sort of background design Looks pretty cool. It shows the blue raspberries. So, yeah. It's a little bit reflective. But, um, anyway, Warhead Sour Blue Raspberry Soda, 12 foot ounces, 355 milliliters, naturally flavored. Shows his head like exploding and like um, has puckered lips because you know it's definitely sour. Uh, so, yeah. 0% juice, nutrition facts, serving size 1 can, 355 milliliters, amount per serving calories 150, total fat 0 grams, 0%, sodium 10 milligrams, 0%, total carbohydrate 30, 36 grams, 13%, total sugars 35 grams, includes 35 grams added sugar, 70%, protein 0 grams, drinkwarheads.com, info at drinkwarheads.com, my flavor packed sour soda will blow your mind and taste buds away, Wally has a QR code, it probably takes you to their website. SKU, the ball logo, some other code, 12 foot ounces, other ingredients, carbonated water, sugar, um, malic acid, natural flavor, preservatives, potassium sorbate, and sodium benzoate, and blue one. Manufactured in partnership with Warheads for Firebrands LLC, Miami Beach, Florida. 33139 Warheads is registered trademark of Impact Confections Incorporated. So, yeah, that's pretty much the entire can, so I'll let you see it real quick. First, I'm going to turn on my air conditioner a little bit more. Because, yeah, it's supposed to get to 92 degrees, but my car says it's 95 degrees. So yeah, it got warmer than it was supposed to get. Hard to show you the top and the bottom, but I'll show it off up close in a minute. But tomorrow is supposed to be the last 90 degree day on the forecast for at least the next 10 days. Because all the next 10 days is going to be in the 80s. Um, but still might feel close to 90 though, tomorrow though. Maybe a little bit warmer than that. Because it's supposed to be 89 tomorrow, but the heat index is going to be warmer than that. So... Tomorrow it still might be a little hot. But in a few days it'll be better when it's in like the low 80s. Because then it'll feel like the high 80s, so that'll be good. And nutrition facts. Parts of the reflective. The SKU, the other code. Let's see it. All logo. And another ingredients. Distributor information. Okay, that's pretty much the entire can, so anyway, now I'm going to shake it up a little bit. I'm going to show it off up close actually first, so hold on a minute. Okay, the blue raspberry warhead soda. The lighting keeps going weird. Because whenever I record like these blue cans of like yellow and stuff, it makes the lighting go weird. But yeah, it shows the blue raspberries. Pretty cool, you know, just saying. Nutrition facts. QR code. SKU and the other codes. And the ball logo other ingredients, the distributor information, okay that's pretty much the whole can, and now I'm going to finish my review for it, so hold on a minute. 
Okay, I shut off the can up close, so I'm gonna shake it up a little bit. Open it, taste it, and give my review for it, so hold on a minute. Okay, I opened it, and the color, definitely like a light blue. Um, well, it's a little bit darker blue in the can, but um, definitely like a light blue, though. Reminds me of like, um, the blue, um, what was it? The blue raspberry stacker 2 energy drink. Also reminds me of another drink I had not too long ago, but, um, yeah. Also the blue ras bills, like, um, like a night zero drink, you know? Definitely like that, like a melted blue icy sort of color. Or a melted blue popsicle, um, but I'm anyway, the smell. Oh yeah, boys, oh yeah, oh yeah, well, 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 well. Actually does have a little bit of that blue icy sort of smell. Definitely a nice sweet blue raspberry. Um, has a little bit more of that like tart raspberry scent though, probably because of the sour part of it. Um, but yeah, definitely smells like a blue, like a typical blue raspberry drink that I've had before. But um, doesn't smell too different though. Um, but it has a little bit of, like the artificial blue raspberry. Um, can't remember. Yeah, it's, um, very similar to the blue raspberry stacker two energy drink. So if you had that one, this basically smells the same. Um, but yeah, and it looks the same too. Also a little bit similar to the blue ice energy drink. Um, that's also what it looks like and smells like. So anyway, but anyway, now I'm gonna try it. So here goes. I'm gonna try not to spill it on my white shirt. You know, I don't want to stain it. But um, anyway. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, yep. Mm -hmm. Doesn't really taste like a sour blue raspberry drink. Because normally these Warhead drinks are normally sour than like regular drinks, you know? But um, this basically tastes just like a blue raspberry drink though. It doesn't actually taste like too more sour though, you know? Or I guess like extra sour compared to like, you know, the regular flavor, you know. Um, basically tastes just like the um, Blue Ice Energy Drink and also the Blue Raspberry Stacker 2 Energy Drink. Maybe a teeny bit sour, but not really that sour. Um, because I thought it would be way more sour though. Because, you know, it says sour blue raspberry. But tastes just like a normal blue raspberry drink to me anyway. Doesn't really taste too sour though. Um, might be a little bit sour, but um, not really compared to like the watermelon one of these or the lemon one of these. It's um, pretty smooth, even though it's carbonated. You can probably chug it if you want to. It has a little bit of that puckery sourness on the, my tongue and also on my lips a little bit. But it's like that, um, sort of like the powdery, like sour, like from like the Skittles candy, that what it reminds me of. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. But tastes just like any other like blue raspberry drink. Um. So if you had other blue raspberry drinks, you probably know what this is going to taste like. So what I mean? But he has a cool can design though. It's cheap. It's like around a dollar and forty cents. It's brand new. I got it at Quick Trip. Definitely try it if you can find it. it. Actually tastes pretty good. Not too sour. Um, I still think I like the um, cherry one best, and then I think I might actually like this my second best, and then the green apple one, and then the lemon one, then the watermelon one. So the watermelon one's my least favorite, but this one's still really good though. Definitely highly recommend it. It's actually really good, really tasty. I actually like blue raspberry drinks, so you know, I definitely like this. But um, I still think the black cherry one's best, but um, this one's still really good though. So yeah, definitely highly recommend it. I'm gonna give the new sour blue raspberry warhead soda. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Good, tasty blue raspberry drink. A little sour, not too sour, but yeah, it tastes good. It's cheap, it has a cool design. So, yeah, definitely try it. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Anyway, stay in my upcoming review, stay more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.